Good evening, and welcome back to Project Gamma. I'm Odia Barandas. We're back in a little private island here with uh, hardly anything going on just yet, but we will get good stuff going over here soon. And in this episode, we're going to work on getting our pick leveled up, hopefully setting up a smeltery, and uh, getting some better tools. So let's get going. All right, so we're back on the little island here. Haven't done much. Uh, just planted a few things between episodes here. This is mostly where I left off. Uh, I planted these beetroots down here because I picked up these by just smashing some the, some uh, grass on the ground here. And I managed to pick these up. And these do about two points of hunger. So they're pretty good. Um, I didn't find any wheat seeds, but that's okay. These these beetroots are doing fine for us. Uh, we get beets out of those, I believe. And then, yeah, those are pretty good for hunger, actually. And then meanwhile, this is growing up pretty well. I stacked them back out, so it's three, uh, it's four now. We started with only two, so we're getting going pretty well here, I think. And then uh, our pick is about to level up here. We are at uh, 117 of 121, so we could definitely get that going here. Let's head down to the mine. And last time we left off, there was a lot to explore. Oh, you know what we need before we leave down there? We need to get some torches, because I didn't have any left. We left, when we left off here. I just used the last one up. Hopefully I didn't use all this coal up in here. Okay, so yeah, we got this going too here. I put a lot of seared brick in here. We've got plenty going for that. So the main thing here is that we need uh, oh boy, so to make a smeltery, it's not a problem. Uh, getting fuel for the smeltery is the only problem I could see because we need lava. We need a bucket. Now, what type of buckets are in there in here right now? Can we make uh, clay buckets? Oh, we can. Okay, cool. So we can make a, a clay bucket and that will let us pick up one lava. It'll break the bucket to use that, but we can actually make it some lava then to uh, power our smeltery when we're ready. So let's get that going here. We'll fire that up so that it is good to go. And one of these grow. Let's grow up one of these trees here quick so we can get some more wood. Uh, just barely surviving here um, right now. But we're, we're, we're holding it together and we've got this lit up mostly and there's no mob spawning right here in the immediate vicinity. So we're, we're holding up pretty well now. Um, I still haven't set our spawn yet though, so maybe we should go get a bed today as uh, one of the top priorities also is uh, get some get some uh, wool. We'll have to go back to the mainland for that though, I think. Because I, I don't think there's any sheep over here. Well. Yeah, there's no sheep over here. So we we'll, we'll head back over there. I'm sure we can find a couple to uh, shear. Uh, we don't have shears yet, though, so we need to kill them, which will be a lot less efficient. But um, yeah, if we should be we should be able to do it. So I was just gonna grab some wood here so we could fire this up without wasting a coal, and we'll go with uh, there and this. And bold spider was ground to bits. Oh no! I already hear that ground spider or bold spider. Not so bold anymore, are you? Uh, there's that's I don't know what the bold spiders do. I don't know what what they're from um, I just know that there's some weird mobs here. We'll have to be aware of so I have a stack in a, a, a Half of bricks here um, So that should do us to make at least one level of a smeltery to get the basics going here But we'll, we'll touch on that in a moment here first Let's level up the pick and we'll actually first let's grab our bucket in case we find some lava that we want to steal down here And then we'll hang on we'll break the bucket with that But uh, let's head down here and just uh Let's see, I wonder if we can, can we mine aluminum with this or do we need a, oh boy, because we need, we need to get a cast for a, man, we did a lot of stuff. We need to get a cast for a pickaxe head so we can swap it out from this. Um, for that, we will need aluminum to make the uh, casts and we can't mine iron, obviously, but we, I think we can, oh, we can't mine coal either. So that doesn't really bode well for uh, being able to mine aluminum. If it's maybe it lets you do it because basically we need aluminum and I think copper in order to make uh, aluminum brass and that will let us make some make some molds for our tools and stuff to make parts um, yeah. what do we want to do here what is that stuff over there jeez um, we'll be very very careful here is what we ought to do let's mine this out here we'll level up our pictures a little bit here we'll get this level it's 110. Wait, that's durability. Or 95. Oh man, I was looking at the wrong thing. I thought we were close to leveling up, but we're actually our durability going down. So uh, yeah, that's not gonna. We'll never. We'll never reach our goal there. Uh, what is that over there? Maybe a flower from Botania. There's some. I thought there's some mushrooms. Might be an ore too. There's all kinds of crazy ores in this. We can't wait to see. I'm gonna do some research to see how what uh, what smells with what here. Um, now we can't mine tin. Tin is actually fairly high level. Uh, in the uh, Iguana Tweaks here. Can't mine Orchilium. Or, 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 or
I'm not gonna, I'm gonna say auriculum. Um, I don't know. Words, man, words. All right, so we really need to make a bridge across there and light that up. So there'll be less to worry about here. And uh, do that very, very carefully, of course. Because we're always careful. Let's put a torch here. And we'll actually mine this back so we can have stairs down here at least. And some more osmium. All right, so we'll bring the stairs around this way and then we'll make a path straight across here. Extremely zinc, interesting. So yeah, metallurgy is part of this. Um, this is like, this is precarious right now. Uh, metallurgy is part of this. I need to look and see what alloys there are so we can like set up a smeltery so we don't actually accidentally make any um, alloys that we don't want. That's always the most frustrating thing. Oh, did we bring some wood? We did, we were smart enough to do, some that, do something here. Um, so we can make some more sticks, get some more torches. That's what we do. All right, now we're on, we're on to some more trouble here. So yeah, my pick is nowhere near leveled up now. Ooh, that's a good find actually, right here. Look at that. Uh, we got a, oh, oh my gosh. Oh gosh, okay, I get the swords of the ready here. Ooh, he's damaged by that. Okay, let's get over the corner here. Don't kill me, don't you kill me. Oh my God, it's gonna kill me. Yep, he's got me. He's got me. He's got me. Oh! Alright, we're back at the uh, spawn here. But at least we have a home now to head back to where we have some stuff saved. And uh, on our way over there, we will get a few sheeps uh, slain here. And then get their wools and make ourselves a bed so we don't spawn so far away. Uh, as far as I know, gravestones are part of this, I hope. Otherwise, our stuff is gone. Uh, that pick was pretty pretty close to getting leveled. I mean, it's over halfway there. Before we head back, though, let's let's look around quick for some sheeps and see if we can uh, get ourselves a bed before we head back. So let's let's go this way. Let's count on there being a gravestone waiting for us wherever we led, wherever we died here. If there's not, uh, well, that, that'll be the end of our stuff there. Let's head around the side of the mountain here and look for some sheep on the other side because we really need a bed. And we guess we could kill spiders till we got enough string. But that'd be like a lot um, and it's probably not going to happen uh, given how quickly we died before here. It's uh, difficult here. Can we make can we make wooden armor? I wonder if we can in this. We can. OK, so this is just basic protection. We're definitely going to do that here. Let's find a tree to chop down and we'll at least have something to protect ourselves just a little bit. I mean, you can't you can't make uh, metals too quickly in Iguan Tweaks. The whole point of it is to slow down the beginning of the game here. Uh, so that's it's doing its job for sure. It's definitely been a hindrance. Uh, definitely here. Ooh, I wonder if the wonder if somebody cleared out the Tinker's houses out of here. I bet you they have. Oh, well, maybe there won't be one. Wow, that's kind of surprising. There's enough villagers here to have iron golems, though. That's pretty nice. So this is a Tinker's house here, right? Yeah, it is. All right. No, it's not. It's just oh, it had the roof like a Tinker's house, but it didn't. It wasn't uh, actually. Let's take a look at let's look at the high ground here. And look for that. Somebody at least planted this, which is nice. After they stole some, ooh, quicker man. We could grab some wheat from that. Oh, here we go. Let's grab some of this. We got some bread going at least. When we head back home, we'll be more prepared than before. There's really no Tinker's house here. Well, there's a blacksmith. I'm sure they, they looted that already. Definitely think they would loot, looted that. Let's take a look. Never hurts to look. Of course. A couple of mutton. Let's take a mutton. Let's take an apple or two. Yeah, why not? And then we can actually, if we get an oak sapling, we can plant the an apple tree over there, and that'll keep us alive a little bit longer, which will be good. We'll definitely do that. Okay, let's head, keep heading this way until we find some sheeps. Hi there, sheep. Time to die. Don't you run away from me. Okay, you better drop some wool. There we go. One piece. Okay, we're, we're one third of the way there to uh, bed supremacy here. <laughs> Man, this is so weird that it's like modded Minecraft, but our, the normal first day stuff is taking longer than anything. Um, I do keep dying having to restart here, but uh, you know, it's just odd. You don't, you don't kind of expect that kind of stuff. Uh, I haven't had a lot of chance to get on the server lately. I'm getting, I'm hopefully, uh, my plan is to get a couple of these episodes banked so I can have more than one a week. Uh, at the rate I'm going, it doesn't seem to be likely, but uh, right now, 
at least. I'm seeing a sheep on the map. That's a chicken. Nah, that's not gonna do it. There's a sheep over here, though, someplace. Ah, he's stuck. He has a perfect. Yeah, don't don't go anywhere, buddy. I'll save you. If I save, I mean release from this mortal coil. There you go. There you go. All right. Uh, and then we need one more. Looks like on the map over there. All right, cool. Let's set our sights on this one over here. Sorry, man. Our need is greater than yours. I know you would you would give it to us willingly if we had just had some shears on it. I apologize. Uh, blame iguana tweaks. That's, that's what's causing the problem here. Um, so we need to get. Oh, I really hope we can move mine aluminum. Otherwise, I don't quite know. We just might need to just level up a pick. If that's the case, then it's going to take a little while because we're counting on random uh, leveling to uh, improve our station in life, which will be difficult. It'll slow things down quite a bit. And if that's the case, I might just do a little mining of cobblestone here off camera to level up a pick to the point where we can start mining uh, at least aluminum that we can finally get started in some uh, iguana stuff here. All right, so we're taking our fateful swim back here. We got everything we need in hand. We're going to grow some of those trees up here, and we're going to be right on time to uh, get, a, get this bed going for night here because it's almost evening. We have just enough bone meal to get one of these trees grown, I think. We'll punch it down, and then we'll head in and retrieve our stuff. There we go. So one of these should do the trick. We'll save the wood to chop down another time here once we have our axe back. Uh, it's going to be tough going to retrieve our stuff right now, though. So once we get a bed going, though, uh, we should be okay. We should just risk everything and go die if we need to. So let's get a bed going here. And uh, yes, yes. OK, cool. So we uh, got our bed done and there we go. OK, so now we got our spawn set here. And we'll be good in that regard. Um, let's leave our food here. As a uh, best case scenario, we get our stuff back. We'll come right back up here to do some uh, more work. And worst case scenario, we die and we're right back here anyways, and we won't lose anything if we just leave it all here. So we'll leave everything here behind with the uh, idea that we probably won't survive. But we'll see what happens. It's going to be tough to uh, vampiric zombies. We'll have to uh, get our stuff carefully. We did fall down there, which is probably a mistake. If Mr. Skeleton's there still, we'll be in trouble too. Am I going the right way? I don't think I'm going the right way. Yeah, it's back this way. Oh, because the marker's on the screen, of course. Duh. Um, let's just follow that. Okay, so we did fall downwards a little bit there. That's going to be a bit of an issue. Is there a grave there? Oof, we fell all the way down. And there's there's a zombie there looking to, looking to go. And it looks like it's... Game's lagging out quite a bit here. Let's knock him off the edge if we can. There we go. All right. Gotta get down there and get our stuff back. Oh, here's the thing right here. Okay. That could be okay. As long as none of our stuff falls down there, we'll be all right. Let's get it quick. Oh, we got almost all of it. Okay. That's pretty good. All right. Let's get out of here quick with our stuff intact. Now, I really want that, uh, that uh, essence berry bush. Those are really handy. Getting a bunch of those is awesome. All right, so let's head back up, eat some food here quick. Now that we have our stuff back and uh, I'm going to take a little break here quick and I'll be right back after we get uh, we'll get settled again here. All right, another night has fallen here. We're going to go back to the mines here. I did a little bit of mining here to get our pick to uh, just about leveled. We're at 20 away, 22 away from being leveled here. We're going to make another attempt to make this bridge across and maybe we can get over there and there's already a spider and a skeleton waiting for us. Of course, um, man, we really got to get down lower, though, to get some better stuff or look for some aluminum, which I see over there. I don't that's one thing. That's the one thing I want to answer right now is if aluminum is able to be mined with a flint pick. Now, I don't think it is because this, the mining level on this is stone, so we might not be able to do it like that. Um, what else can we do now? We could try seeing if we can find some gravel ore because I believe that might work for our shovel. Because as you can see, our mining level for our shovel is mining level copper, whereas this is only mining level stone. So that could work um, as, a, as a method, but we do have to get lucky finding some gravel ore on the surface. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go upstairs here and let's, let's sleep because there was no way across that bridge without dying again, I think. And I'm not interested in dying over and over again to some skeleton and some. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. He blew up fast. Wow. Um. I wonder if there was like a lag thing that he thought that I was still there. He blew up quite, quite quickly though. 
Uh, all right, let's drop some stuff off here quick. And first of all, let's sleep. And then we'll drop some stuff off, and then we'll head out across the water here to uh, greener pastures. And by greener pastures, I mean not green at all, because we're going to the desert that's going to be right over this way. Let's see. Let's take a look at the map here quick. Right across the pond here, there's uh, these trees over here. We can look around there for some gravel ore. I'm going to I'm willing to try that to see if we can. That's a way to get aluminum, because I think that's really the way forward as far as uh, our progression goes. We still didn't make a chance to get a chance to make our, our wooden armor yet, though. We have a do have a tree here grown, so we'll do that quick. Um, now that we have this whole place uh, blown apart, but I was going to leave it. You know what? Because uh, why not? It adds character to the island to have craters everywhere. And it was right in our mind anyways, so it's like we're going to mine that out anyways, right? In theory. Uh, let's lay down some more trees here. Get our forest getting even bigger. We still didn't get an oak sapling here either. We'll have to work, work on getting that maybe across the across, across the mainland here. Um, and see if... Oh, we're also going to do this. This will make toast. So I can burn bread. And Pam's Harvest Craft has a meal called toast. Which actually does pretty good as far as hunger goes. We can't eat it right now because our have saturation is going to be too high still. Because we also have this nice cooked mutton here. Which does it pretty good. But if you hold it, I think it tells us what the saturation is. And look at the saturation on that. It's 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 almost full um, with one piece of toast. So that's actually great. Uh, it'll probably provide about three or four hunger, but a lot of saturation out of that. So we'll just grab a few pieces of it and leave the rest here. We'll take our bucket with us because we'll want to find lava here eventually. And we have seven pieces of this. So we can actually make ourselves a helmet. And we have a wooden helmet. So it's better than nothing, at least. Um, slightly, slightly, ever so slightly better than nothing. All right, let's hit the water here. Uh, let's make a boat. Let, why not? Let's make another boat. Um, I made so many boats before when I was traveling around here, and the game, the game uh, crashed on me, and I lost all my stuff night after night here. Um, so let's get out of here. Come on, get going. All right, there we go. I need to think about it for a second. And we're gonna look for some oak saplings. We're gonna look for some gravel ore. We're going to look for some anything, anything that's going to be useful to us. We're just going to do a little exploring on this, this island over here. And I haven't, have I been over to this part? I think I might have been over. Let's, let's make it go this way. It doesn't crash. Don't crash. Don't crash. No, it didn't crash. How about that? Um, we'll come back for it later. Let's take a look around here and see what these trees are. First of all here, and this is acacia wood. Well, that's not quite what I was hoping for. Acacia sapling is not going to do us any good to make an uh, apple tree. But um, red sand is cool. Maybe we'll grab some of that later. Not much here. We're not in a mesa biome or anything like that. But uh, let's look around for some gravel ore and test out our theory of our shovel being the way forward. Well, one thing we did find, though, is some lava, it looks like. So let's grab some of that with our bucket so we have it for our, when we can make our smeltery in a minute here. Um, we'll also want some sand from someplace, but uh, we'll grab that later. Hello, Mr. Hobgoblin. All right, so that'll break that bucket, but it'll stay in there indefinitely. As long as we don't remove it, it'll be fine. And any gravel ore, any at all. We should have brought uh, like a sleeping bag with us or something, though, so we could not. Uh, so we could sleep without resetting our spawn. All right, we should probably head back because it's going to be night. And we're going to run into problems if we don't head back, I think. So let's head back, because I, I didn't have a chance to make the sleeping bag here. We didn't get all the supplies. So we'll just head off back home quick and uh, recollect our thoughts. So hopefully we can make it back. Oh, here's some oak, though. We might be able to get some... Oh, no, 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 no. At least get an apple tree going here. And get other kinds of trees going. And some wood. Whoa, oh, man. We can make the sleeping bag after all. We might be able to anyways. Let's see if we have everything we need for a sleeping bag. Oh, we might. We might just have it. Okay, let's hopefully we can do it. Because that would be a lifesaver. We can do that. Uh, we need carpets. Let's see. Four carpet. Oh, man. Okay, there's some more sheep around here. We can kill those quick. Hello, sir. You're saving our life, just so you know. Oh, man. Awesome. Did we get it? He did drop it. I thought he dropped it. There it is. <gasps> oh, we found tin. Oh, I don't think we can get that though because it's tin. Um, the mining level is gonna be bad on that here. We'll find out in a second here though. Once we make this, and we'll need a uh, brown wool. Oh my god, we need two more pieces of wool. Okay, here we go. Any color, any color. Here we go. One sheep. 
Need one more sheep any, anywhere. Any sheep. Any sheep. Oh my gosh. And we didn't pick that up either. There we go. Look at the meat from the pigs. We're having trouble picking stuff up here right now. Oh, there's a sheep over here. Cool. Let's grab this quick. Let's quickly, quickly, quickly grab it. And then we'll be set. Oh my gosh. We're getting lucky here. We're getting lucky. Oh, all right. We managed to do it. Okay, so let's get a sleeping bag going here. Eat our last piece of toast. That helped the team out quite a bit. And uh, let's go back to our thing here. There's an apple tree. Well, we're gonna make a we're gonna make a Pam's harvest craft apple tree, I think. All right, so there's a sleeping bag though. We got the sleeping bag taken care of. Yes. Oh my god, that's a lifesaver. Great. So now we need to rest. We can just do it. We don't have to worry about uh, much actually. Hmm. Can we get these apple leaves by cutting this tree down? Let's find out. Let's first of all collect all these apples up here. There we go. Oh my god, look at all these apples. Man, alright, I beat the mother load that time. Did we get apple saplings? Yes, we did. That's great. Okay, that's great. So we don't have to worry about making oak, uh, a Pam's Harvest Craft uh, tree anyways. I think these actually have more apples on them than the, the Harvest Craft trees do anyways. So, okay, now we can use our sleeping bag for the first time. And this won't reset our spawn. It'll just put us to sleep. Uh, it's kind of like armor, actually. I think it's like a chest plate that you put on. Um, and there you go. We lay it on the ground and we're back. And it is daytime. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> we can right click it to make it wear it there. All right. So gravel ore. We were taking a look at that here. Um, and we're going to take a look at the mining level of tin. Well, tin is probably going to be tin mining level, I'm guessing. It would be uh, too easy to go about that way. But let's go take a look at it. Because it might give us a clue if this is going to be the answer. So harvest will know. Required tier three. Okay. So if we find some copper ones. Which, I mean, again, it's going to be low percentage kind of thing, but we could, in theory, find some. Um, aluminum gravel ore. We'll be all set. And it's going to be easier. Well, there's an aluminum in the cave we could have grabbed, probably, but not with this pickaxe that we have right now. So I think the best way forward is just to find some gravel ore, just to get us started. Just a little bit. And uh, this is looking promising over here at the very least. Oh, sand is bad. Quick sand is bad. Quick sand is bad. Quick sand is bad. Okay, here we go. Fuck gosh. All right, get out of here. Okay. Let's head this away. There's some copper. I think we can mine that at least. Harvest will know. So we have to level this up to first to get copper even. Wow. So yeah, our, our shovel is actually way better than our pick right now. Way more useful. Let's see, this is just about to level up here. Ten more blocks, it'll level up. Um, let's just do a quick here. Two, three, four, five. There we go. Okay, so we got uh, a modifier for it. And uh, the mining level did not go up, so it's uh, unfortunate. But uh, we're still counting on the shovel to save us. So at least we have one more room for some more mod modifiers on it. But that's not going to help us in the immediate future here. <gasps> we found some. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth. Yes, we can get it. Awesome. So that'll actually help us progress here. So as we can use this, we can put it in a grindstone, or we can melt it that way. We can smelt it for one piece of aluminum. Awesome. Um, redstone furnace will work. Anything will work. Dusting. Hmm. Okay. Uh, in any event, we can do what we wanted to do here now. We have one. We have two pieces of it, so it's two ingots. Uh, it's probably not enough to make even just one. Um, it's probably not enough to make one uh, cast just yet. But we'll keep looking around here. Maybe we can find another piece. And now we're getting the way forward here, I think. This is the this is the trick. This is the way to do it. Okay, so we'll keep looking around for more aluminum gravel ore. And that'll help us get uh, our pick leveled up. Next, we'll make a, a copper pick. If we can find some copper gravel ore, that'll fix that too. Uh, I also managed to find some copper uh, ore berry bushes. So worst case scenario, all that's going to take is just time. Uh, which we can wait and, and let those uh, grow up and uh, 
we'll uh, we'll get it eventually. All right, so we just found a tremendous find here. We have uh, some bricks already made here we could grab. Um, some people to trade with, possibly. Um, some different villagers around here. Man, this is great. And this looks like it's untouched so far. I don't think anybody's been over here yet. So maybe we'll find something cool inside of the Tinker's Construct House. Pop it open. Come on, door. There we go. Jeez. All right, what do we got here? We have a bone blade, a flint shovel, flint axe head, of course. And a copper knife blade. Don't pick axe heads. No good. No good whatsoever. Oh my gosh, that's too bad. Um, let's grab this piston. We might want that for various things. And we'll throw away this front flesh. Uh, anything cool in here? Yeah, we want this. This full guard pattern you can't... I don't think you can actually make. Um... Yeah, you can't actually make that. That's a nice thing to have. So we're going to grab that. The rest of these we can make pretty easily, though. So we'll do that. Let's see if there's another Tinker's House here, possibly. Looks like somebody might have raided the good stuff out of here already. If there was anything. Um, let's see. Oh, there's a, there's a, there's a moment of truth over here. If we find... Oh, wow, we got oil everywhere here. If we find uh, anything in the, the blacksmith's house, then we'll know that uh, we... Uh, We've come to some place that's already been raided. Oh, it hasn't been. We got our first iron ingot. We got a dimlet. Awesome. Cool. So let's drop some of this stuff off here. Reinforced stone from calculator. Great. Ooh, some steel leggings. Fantastic, actually. That's really, really nice armor. Um, grab this bread. Shout out on that right away here. And then uh, we'll need a sleeping bag, I think, in a second here. Definitely want this iron ingot. Um, put it here. And reinforced stone will definitely grab. Ooh, steel shears, awesome. So let's grab those two. And reinforced stone will put in place of our cobblestone. So as you can see, we got five copper, gravel ore, two aluminum. It's not quite enough. We need a little bit more in order to finish this out here. We're, we're picking up a bunch of crap though we need to get rid of. Um, but this is actually a really, really good find. So let's take a look around the village here a little bit and see if there's anything else we want to grab. If not, ooh, we should probably grab the bookcases out of here. Those are always good to steal. Um, these guys don't need them. These guys don't need bookcases. We'll grab these books, though. So that saves us on getting a lot of leather. Uh, if we need to make books for, um, you know, uh... What can we sell? What can we get rid of? Let's get rid of this dirt. If we need to make, uh, enchanting tables and all that. Now, we're way far away from enchanting tables right now, because we don't have diamonds yet. Alright. Anyways, I'm gonna look around here and see if there's anything else worthwhile. And then, uh, if there is, I'll jump back in. If not, I'll still head back to the house after we get done gra grabbing all of the copper, uh, ore we can find here. All right, so we had a bit of providence here. We uh, managed to find some uh, moss stone, which is great because we can make, I think we can make moss balls with this, which will let us add repair to our tools when ready, which will be pretty cool. And you'll notice in the chat here, got a, another level up on my flint pickaxe, plus one mining level. Fantastic. Now we can actually mine aluminum uh, ore if we find it. We don't have to look around for gravel anymore, so that's perfect. Uh, Really, if I had spent a half an hour just uh, leveling my pickaxe, we probably would be in the same situation. But you know what? It was fun to go adventuring. We found a town. We found some steel leggings. We found a dimlet. Cool stuff, anyways. So I think now we're finally ready to head back home. Uh, I've explored great lengths here. Um, I'm almost full circle here. On, I might just finish this off because this is uh, uh, almost coming full circle here. So we might just finish off the rest of the map here. We'll know what's kind of in the vicinity around here. And then uh, we'll head back to our home in the middle island here. Uh, a lot of cool islands we might be able to settle around here too. But uh, yeah, we'll we'll uh, we'll be right back in a moment here after I finish uh, finishing the loop here and see if there's anything else uh, worthwhile. And then uh, I'll meet you back at home. All right, we've arrived back at our home base, our home island here, our uh, cratered, uh, exploded out creeper holes here, and we got a pretty good haul going here. I mean, to get my pickaxe leveled up as I mentioned, so we're comfortable in copper with it now. And we have some copper ores finally, because we could mine those. We got some lot of copper, or rather aluminum gravel ore. We got some copper gravel ore. Uh, we should be all set now to make our smeltery finally. Man, long time coming. As I said, it probably would have been faster just to spend some time just leveling up my pick. Had I known for sure that it was going to be uh, at the level it's supposed to be at um, when we get leveled up next, I would. I didn't want to risk it though. I didn't want to risk it. I wanted it to be a sure thing. And I think we figured out a way of doing it early game before even leveling up anything. If you get lucky finding some ores, anyways. Anyhow, let's grab our seared bricks out and we'll start making some uh, glass up here. We'll need that for part of this. Got our toast in here uh, and that's great. Um, so now let's do our, some smeltery things. So let's first of all make a drain. 
Let's make ourselves a controller. One of those. We'll need the glass out of here in a moment here to make the next thing. We'll need a couple drains, I think, though. Make a couple of those. Um, what else do we need? Drain controller. We need the uh, tank and... Um, that should do it, actually, as long as we have the tank. So we can actually turn uh, the rest of these. Oh, we also need the uh, actual uh, seared faucets. All right, so this glass is ready to go now. We can do uh, this together with this to make the tank, I believe. Like that, and that is the tank, and that should be all the pieces we need. Um, yeah. So next we need uh, nine for the bottom. And we'll need uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that should be everything we need then. We don't have to waste any more of this than we have to. And we can add in new things as we need it. So let's go find a good spot to put this in. I'll just dig in right here, let's say. We'll put it like right here. And it'll be floating above the water a little bit. We'll expand this island out just a little bit to uh, make it look nicer eventually. But for now, we'll put our smeltery right here. Fill the bottom in with these. Go like this. Oh, it's a. I guess it's a fine spot for the dr the drain here, but we'll we'll flip it around here a little bit. Um, I guess I do need one or two more of these. I miscalculated. Okay, so let's put the controller here. Let's put the tank here this in the middle here and we'll put the drain right over here this will just be a basic smeltery for now and we'll actually put it put it in the middle here I like it better over here that's, that's good put it like right there like so whoa, why, why did you why did you do that just uh, go like that there you go all right and we'll put one on the other side too so we can do uh, two different things then like this, like this, like this, and lastly, this. And that should do it. Yep, it is on. We can start smelting now. So next thing we'll need is the tables. So we need to take, uh, ooh, are we all out? Oh, that's unfortunate. Wow, we used them all up. Holy cow. Okay, we'll have to make a couple more of these seared bricks. I wasn't calculating properly. I calculated the exact amount I needed, but uh, we can at least start smelting some things up here. So let's throw in um, I think it's three to three to one for uh, making uh, aluminum brass to make some uh, some uh, molds here for stuff. So we'll go two of those. We'll throw those in there like that. Uh, I need six. Make it three to one. All right. So we throw those in there, and that should turn into aluminum brass. And then after that's done, we'll take a look at it. I'm gonna I'm gonna dig it some out. Uh, dig out some more um, grout for us to finish this out, so we get all the the tables and stuff we need for uh, smelting things as well. So I'll be right back after I finish digging out what we need out of here. I think we need more sand and more uh, gravel. I think we got clay. So I'll be right back. All right, so now we are ready. We have everything we need. I think we got enough seared brick here to make the casting table. And we'll also make a casting basin right away here. And we have a few more cooking up in here to uh, make our last little faucet. Actually, we have the exact right amount. I didn't even plan that but it's the exact right amount to make the second faucet for ourselves. So we'll do that, and then we should be all set uh, to begin our smelting career. So let's drop these into here, and put this like this, and put this like this. And then we need to also grab some stone. Uh, okay, we need to grab some stone and make ourselves a pickaxe head pattern. Pickaxe head pattern, we'll drop it into here. Take this out, put this in. Nope, not quite what we wanted here. Let's drop this in instead. There we go. Okay, so I don't think we have. To, I don't think we can use flint. Um, we'll get rid of this eventually here. Let's just toss in there for now. Okay, so let's put in. Uh, let's make sure we have. Oh, we have 16 ingots. I saw in here before. We have 16 ingots of uh, molten aluminum brass in there. Do this, and that should make us a pattern for a pickaxe. And it consumes the uh, pickaxe head, which is nice. Um, and then we can also grab a couple copper ore here. Need two of those. And uh, that should do the trick to do this, because I think the part on this is, oh, it's only only one material cost. So we only need actually need one in there. So we can actually upgrade both of our things here with just one piece of copper in there. 
and all of the aluminum got used up in here looks like so we don't we planned it perfectly uh, we don't have any extra molten uh alloys we need to worry about which is nice and now we can actually i think to swap out, swap out the head on our pickaxe we need to have it fully repaired so can we do this and repair it yes we can awesome that helps out a lot any other flint we have uh no we'll have to get some more gravel to do the other stuff here but just as a proof of concept we will get this done right now so let's let that smelt up here quick and see if there's anything else we need to take care of right now so we have copper two ingots worth do it there we go and the last thing we need is a binding now i don't know if we want to change the binding out right now we can always do it later let's hopefully this will work though we drop this in here drop this in here no it doesn't work Let's try it uh, in the other table here. It, it should be fully repaired here, but maybe because we leveled it up once, it doesn't work. There it is. Okay, so we got a copper pickaxe now. And we've got the uh, better tier of stuff here. Now we should be able to mine all kinds of stuff down here. Now we have copper tier. So can we get this? Not quite yet. We need tier three for that. Can we get this? Not yet. We need tier two for that. We're at tier one right now. So anything tier one we can get. And oh gosh, there's a lot of enemies down there. Uh, we can get tin. Nope, that's going to be a higher level. Uh, deep iron. Well, we can always have gotten that, I think. But, uh, yeah, so this is, uh, mining level still copper. Oh, we need to get this to a uh, mining level of iron. Well, still can't get iron then, because it requires tier two. Well, I really thought we could do it, but I guess because we leveled it up already, we didn't actually need to do the copper head on there. But now that we have the smeltery going, at least, uh, we can upgrade our stuff even further. So now we can get, uh, metals for our tools. Because we couldn't work with copper at all. So now we can get ourselves a sword finally. We can get ourselves some ingots of uh, copper going as well now um, to get uh, some armor going, some just basic armor. And we can't get bronze just yet. That'll be the next thing is to get uh, get iron and then get bronze. That'll be, I think, the biggest thing to do. So this has been a lot of random exploration and not fully understanding Guana's tweaks for the most part here. But uh, we did manage to get there in the end. We do have a bronze or rather a copper level pickaxe now. And we can start working towards getting it leveled up here now. Um, and we'll get better things now that we have the smeltery going here. So I'm going to do some smelting off camera here between episodes, I think. And then I'll come back next time. We'll have even more adventures. So thank you again for watching. And I'll see you guys back next time for more. Have a good night.